Alright, for this tutorial, I'm going to be adding the uh, roof to my house. Alright, so let's get started. You start by uh, double clicking roof here. Alright, now in the roof plan. Alright, click roof. And we're going to be using a roof by footprint, just the easiest way. So, there. Now I'm going to draw mine because I don't really want a roof. I want the roof here. I don't really want it to automatically. So I'm going to use line. I'm going to start here. This corner. Go all the way up to the overhang part. Yeah. Now I'm going to have an offset for my roof. Because it'll probably look better and it just makes sense. So I'll set an offset about 900 mils. There. And you see how the wall's going inwards. Well, that's because I started drawing on this side. I probably should have started on that side. So I'll fix that. Just go minus 900. And that will just invert it. Alright, now go up. Across. And down. Alright. Now you see how my uh, revit it closed off these gaps here with using an older Revit, maybe like 2008 or something it won't do that for you so what you, what tool you need to use is the uh, trim tool which will be somewhere around here I can't really show you because I don't have it but somewhere around here alright now see these angle things here well that just means the slope of the uh, roof so the roof's going to be bent on that side and we don't really want that so I click modify click the uh, wall and uncheck define slope so it'll go away this one same thing uncheck it this one uncheck it so only this roof is going to be the uh, slope it's going to go up now for the uh, angle of our roof the defaults 30 but that's a bit too much for us so I'm going to use 10 now to get here, you have to open your properties, which will be around there on an older Revit. But in mine 2011, it's automatically around here. So just changing it to 10. That's a good angle. Hit apply. And then we're done. Let's have a look at this. There we go. Nice looking roof. Excellent. Now you see how up until so far I've been drawing like white and white and black lines that's good yeah but I, I really want color so what you do here is go this little toolbox um, and just change it and we use shading with edges wow color see my dirt my wall roof walls I could also add shadows I only want to now because it's still only stages, but in the end I'll definitely add shadows. It's uh, really all I want to do now. So, it's pretty much the end of this tutorial. In the next one I'll be adding walls, so be sure to check that out.